Hi guys, welcome to DIY Ideas. I hope you're doing well. So today I have um, a cool pattern to show you. So this is called the puff pattern. Um, there are some other names for it, but, but I prefer this one. Um, so it's a really simple one and it's really fun. Um, so yeah, the pattern is kind of like in a zigzag. So it's really interesting and definitely something else. So also I used um, my needle size 6 as well as the wool. Um, so yeah, I guess we can get started. Um, it's really easy, so we start just as usual. Yeah, so basically a regular beginning with um, chains or stitches. Um, I need an even number. Ten, so you need two chains per each zigzag. So we need two for the height and then I'll let the two out. So don't take the thread, just go through. And then take the thread and pull through, so you need four on the needle. Again, the same thing until you have eight threads on here. So 8 total, very tight, and now we'll close them up. So here's our first piece, now the leftover chain we did first we'll use in our next round. So leave one out and then go in the next one again. So same deal, just watch what I'm doing. And here we are, so two are done. Now we need to finish until the end of the row. Last time here. Second row, so now we need two chains for the length and turn around.
go through this loop here. This time we need 8 threads on the needle before we close it up, so same deal till the end. Here's the zigzag. So I almost finished the second row, so let's deal with that. So now we need two for the height and a third row, but let's check out what we have so far. So we have the zigzag pattern in different directions. As you can see, it's really cool already. So it's going to be more and more obvious with the um, number of rows that we do. So go in here and do the same thing as before. So eight again and finish up. So here we are after three rows, the changing directions. It's pretty cool. So let's do another row same as before. Go in here. Eight and close up. So here are eight rows and this is what it looks like so far. So yeah, it's a really cool pattern for pretty much anything you want to do. Um, if you enjoyed, feel free to shoot a thumbs up. Um, also, the comment section is open, so feel free to post any feedback you might have. You can also subscribe to the channel and that way you'll never miss anything new we post. So yeah, thanks for watching DIY Ideas. I hope to see you again on the channel and I wish you a great day. Bye!